Hello everybody, my name is Michael and this is Anthony. We are with Cold Springs RV up here in Ware, New Hampshire. Today we are going to be going over one of our favorite brands. This is the Flagstaff Superlight 29RLBS. Anthony, tell me a little bit about this thing. How long are we at? What's the weight? What are we talking to you? So the overall weight of this one, tip to tail, is going to be coming in at 35 foot 5 inches. Yep. And the dry weight is 8,303 pounds. Yep. Definitely still half ton towable if you're with the right truck, but three quarters of a ton, you're going to be totally fine. All right. What's some of your favorite features about this? There's a ton of stuff about this unit that we got to talk about. So. so Flagstaff is really nice. This one is going to have the dual 30 pound propane tanks dual cell set up for the battery so if you want to wire two batteries in there for longer battery life yeah. you're available to do that you can even um, I know you can even put two six volt batteries in this too so that's really important to know it's, it's a lot of space up front here what we got here these are the electric stabilizer jacks at the push of a button they go up and down nice and easy at the campsite no bending down on your knees or getting down hand cranking anything that's old school we don't do that anymore yeah uh, you know what i like about flagstaff too is they do an automotive grade windshield up here too so that this isn't just a piece of glass it's going to be just as strong as your windshield on your truck there so you don't have to worry about rocks or anything smashing that thing up as you guys go when you guys go down the unit here uh, Flagstaff does a standard feature that's really important. They do a griddle and a table mount for the outside here, so you don't have to worry about cooking your bacon and eggs inside and ruining the camper smell. And another thing that people really like about these things, they do a 30-inch entry door too. So it's a much wider door, so if you guys are going out with a plate of cookies, you're not going to have to go out sideways to get outside. What about those steps there, Anthony? So these are the Morite solid steps. They, they're the best in the business. I can't believe it took this long for them to find out Solid steps are better than those old retractable fold downs. It's on the hydraulic right here, so anyone at the touch of a finger can move these up and down, no problem. Yeah, those are super easy. I really like those too. And then another thing on the outside here too, they do frameless windows. So those are basically maintenance free. All the rubber that would normally be on the outside of these windows is actually protected by the tinted windows there. So you don't have to worry too much about those ever cracking or leaking on you. It's, it's really important. I mean, this is your hotel on wheels. It's going to be vibrating, sitting out in the sun all day, going down the highway. Everything's going to be moving around. So just to have the rubber protected from cracking and moving on you is going to be huge when it comes to protecting this thing over time. Let's take a walk on the inside. We're going to show you a couple things that we think are really important for you to see. We're back in the main living area here now. We're going to talk about a couple important features out here. Then we're going to go into the bedroom, talk about why that's really nice and stands out compared to the rest. And then we're going to talk about the bathroom and finish it off here. So in the main living area, solid surface countertops are going to stand out, right? This actually holds a ton of heat. It says it holds up to 320 degrees. I wouldn't say throw a 320 degree boiling pot of water on here, but it does hold a ton of, temp of heat. So you're going to be all right. We also got raised ceiling height, 15,000 BTUs on your AC. That is the industry's biggest that you can do. And then dual track on the AC too. So there's not gonna be a section in this camper where you're not gonna feel that AC at its full strength. What are, your, what are some of your favorite features there? So I like a lot of the woodwork in here, the trim around the slides and just cabinet colors and stuff like that. I think they really nailed it. Matching kitchen table right here with the newest style collapsible table. It's a yeah. freestanding table, so it's not sectioned off to one spot and one spot only. No wobbly poles. No wobbly poles. If you wanted to bring it and use it as a TV tray while you're in your theater seats watching a movie or something like that, yeah. you can do that. It's much easier to collapse down. We make it a bed space for any unexpected guests or friends. Yeah. And then you can also bring it outside too. So if you have a, you have the griddle outside, you've got your speakers outside. If you want to bring the whole party out there too, you can actually bring that table nice and easy out that 30 inch entry door. So no complaints there. Stainless steel sink. So that's going to be really important too. We do have a microwave in this unit. Um, gas and electric fridge. That's something that a lot of the industry is kind of fading away from. Most of them are going just to 12 volt, which doesn't give you as much option. Having this gas option, if you don't have enough power or you don't have power, will still make it so you can use your fridge, which is really important to know. Um, they also don't do floor ducts here in the main living. So if you have a pet, that's really important because your pet's claws won't actually get in, caught in those vents. They're all sitting right up here too. Um, lots of lighting. They also do really uh, some really nice, you were talking about the woodwork. In your cabinetry here, they are doing screw and glue cabinets. What that, what that means is that they're not using staples to put the cabinets all together. So as you're moving and vibrating down the road at 80 miles an hour, those cabinets aren't going to come across. Come, or sorry, I should say come apart. And it's really important to know too, they don't glue in this middle part. So if you guys go out west or if you're going up in higher elevations, wood it can, uh, ex expands and contrasts, right? You're not going to want this cracking over time. This is a camper that you're probably going to hope to have for 20 years. So making it so that this isn't glued into the middle here will 
make it so that the wood can, you know, basically move with the camper, which is really important to know. We got blackout shades, uh, day shades too, so that's nice to have. Let's go over into the bedroom and talk about some of those important features in there. All right, everybody, you got Anthony now. I had to kick Mike out. He was doing a little too much talking in the living room. I was feeling a little, you know, like I should have some camera time as well. So I'm going to take over the master bedroom here. You get all the same woodwork and finish. The cabinets are the same glued and screwed throughout the whole entire unit, through the wardrobe, the upper head cabinets, above the bed. Queen size mattress, which is pretty standard across campers. This is a full 60 by 80 queen mattress. Both windows on the sides there are still gonna have those day and night shades like the rest of the trailer does throughout. This is the front of your trailer here with that automotive glass window that we were talking about. It's also got a shade for nighttime privacy, things like that. Another cool part about this bed here is you get to actually see how the inside of this trailer is constructed. So it's a six point aluminum structure. That means your roof, your floor, both your side walls, the back and the front wall, all are constructed in this aluminum tubing. Now, I've never missed a meal, and this thing is pretty strong. It's holding me up just fine. So it's a good representation of how the whole entire trailer is constructed. You can actually see it and know what's behind the walls of your trailer, knowing you have a good product. Now I'd say let's go take a look in the bathroom. Stepping into the bathroom here, we have a couple really important features, such as that porcelain toilet, max air fan, and a ton of cabinet space for your linens and towels. The flagstaffs all come standard with the Aquaview shower miser too, so that's basically going to save you on a ton of fresh water. All you're doing is recirculating that cold water back into your fresh water tank until it's at temperature. Once that blue lever turns red, it's at temperature, you can release the water, and it's all going to be hot. So you're never going to step into a cold shower again. Thanks guys for tuning in. This again was the Flagstaff Superlight 29 RLBS. We are up here in Ware, New Hampshire. Come check us out off of Route 114 or go on our website, www.coldspringsrv.com. We'll see you next time, guys. And remember, the doors are always open. <laughs>